Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. An absolute pleasure to be able to speak to both of you. How are you doing today? Hey, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Um, maybe you could kick off with a brief introduction to this incredible series. Tell us a bit about your characters. What can people expect um, from, the, from the series, but in particular your characters? Okay, so The Last Days of Ptolemy Gray is a new series on Apple TV+. Plus. Premieres March 11th. It stars Samuel L. Jackson. And it is about the struggle that one man has to regain his memories while suffering from dementia and the trials and tribulations uh, that he goes through with his family and through his family to try to come out triumphant for a somewhat uh, murder mystery treasure hunt. It's a little bit of everything and a whole lot of entertainment and fun. Very mm -hmm. provocative show. And it's what can you tell us? Go on. It's a thriller. It's a journey into a man's life. Um, he's we meet him at his in his later years, um, but we see an entire lifetime unfold over the series, um, in all its glory and all its joy, but also in all the trauma. Uh, we see a virtuosic performance by Samuel L. Jackson, but again, still a cast of characters um, by some of the best actors out there. It's such a pleasure to have worked with every single one of these people, some new faces, some old, um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's a journey. And we are so excited for you guys to come on that journey with us. And I understand it was quite a passion project for Samuel Jackson in particular, because the book is sort of a decade old. And in that time, he's been really wanting to get it, you know, made and, and, and on the big screen. So what was the appeal for you? Had you read Walter's book beforehand? And, um, you know, why did you want to play your very specific characters? I had not read the book beforehand. Um, I'd read Walter's work, love it, of course, um, seen some of the the novels that had been made into movies and films in the past and been such an admirer of his work. I just absolutely love this man as a storyteller. So when I got the script, got the book, um, I loved how complicated Nisi is. I love how um, human she is. Walter does this beautiful job of writing characters that feel very real in all their complexity. So um, it was just a pleasure to be able to bring Nisi to life in a way that Walter had already done most of the work. And I just, you know, put a face to her now. Uh, I, I was excited to play Reggie in the sense that I got to show a, a side uh, of life and a slice of life that we don't often see, which is uh, the, the vulnerability between two adult black men dealing with mental illness and uh, dealing with aging. And it was, a, it was an honor to be a part of it because the story is so deeply personal for the people who created it. The reason it was a passion project is because of Sam's own experience with dementia and Alzheimer's in his life and Walter's own experiences uh, in their lives, as well as the director uh, uh, of the first episode, Ramin. So it was very personal for a lot of people and that raises the stakes as a performer because you wanna do justice to the truth of the experiences in real life. And you also wanna do justice to the material like how Marcia spoke about from a, a, you know, a, a master writer in Walter Mosley. So uh, for me, it was, it was a no brainer to get involved. And what do you hope people will take away from watching it? Cause it touches on so many things, you know, uh, you know, our loved ones, you know, loss kind of, um, but also how we treat other people, loneliness. And I think after the pandemic we've all been through, you know, a lot of the messages in this film are gonna really hit in a, in a very specific way. So what do you hope people take away? I hope people take away that that empathy is important, <clears throat> that treating people with kindness, that leading with kindness is important because even if someone's memory goes, their feeling of how you treat them probably will not. Um, I have watched people who have been battling with dementia recognize maybe not the name of the person, it won't come to them um, or, or their relationship with the person, but they will recognize how that person treated them in life. And I think that's important. If you think, if you, if you acknowledge that how you treat people will stay with them throughout their lives, I think you will lead with kindness and empathy. Uh, you know what? I, I think that it's, I, I hope that it resonates that humanity is of the utmost importance and that it is okay to recognize that life is complicated and hard and that we don't always get it right. And what I, I pray comes out of the series is this sense of hope 
and understanding that that we're all interconnected and how we treat each other matters. The words we choose matters. Uh, how we who we choose to spend our time with matters. So I really hope that this we deal with this heavy and you know delicate material in an uplifting and elevating way. And I think that what it did is uh, uh, it it by bringing in elements of thriller, sci-fi, mystery, you can also further the message. And it challenges the audience because I don't think you can watch this series and have it not affect you. You're gonna watch the series and it's gonna stay with you and you're gonna think about it later and you're gonna talk about it. And I think that's a good thing. I'm out of time, but it's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you both. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. I can't wait for everyone else to see the series. Thanks a lot. Thank you.